Have you ever wondered how your body is able to do amazing things like grow more hair or heal a cut or even make your fingernails longer? Hi, I'm Janice Cronetti. I've been teaching biology in high school for over 20 years and I'm here to answer the question, what is DNA semi-conservative replication? Huh. Like a lot of science, that's a mouthful. But actually, once I break it down for you, it'll seem a lot easier. What I have up on the screen behind me is a DNA molecule. DNA is very important to understanding how the human body works because DNA is what makes us, us. It's why we have the eye color that we have and the hair color that we have. It's why sometimes we get sick and sometimes we don't. Why somebody else might be allergic to something and we're not. Well, DNA molecules exist all throughout your body. They're actually inside the nucleus of your cells. Every time your hair grows or your fingernails grow, every time you heal a cut, or as a child develops from being a child into an adult and gets taller and has body changes in the process, all of that involves DNA making more of itself. And that's what DNA replication means. DNA is sort of copying itself, almost like a Xerox machine. Well, the idea of DNA being semi-conservative replication has actually got to do with how much of the DNA molecule that's replicated is new and how much of it is old. So a DNA molecule is twisted up in a cell like this, and when it goes to replicate, it untwists and it begins to unzip. And what's going to happen is a new DNA strand is going to form. DNA is very clever that way. It has these little things called DNA polymerase, which will bring in more bases and match the base up with its partner. One at a time, these bases will be put in place until I have a whole new strand that's formed over here. Well, the same thing's going to happen on the other side. The semi-conservative part means that the new DNA strand that's formed, one part is old and one part is made of new bases. So it's not all new and it's not all old. It's a combination of the two. And that's what semi-conservative replication means. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is What is DNA Semi-Conservative Replication?